Hey everyone, it's The Reluctant Chef, and today we are going to make some guacamole for Cinco de Mayo. So the first thing I wanna tell you is we have an avocado knife available that you can purchase that has a serrated edge on uh, one side and a dull one on the other, and then it has these little metal prongs for taking the pit out. So how do you know if you have a good avocado? When you pull the tip off the avocado, it should be gray. If it's green and you bring it home, you're gonna to wanna to put it in a brown paper bag with a banana or an apple. That will help the, um, the chemicals and the gases that are given off by those fruits will help ripen your avocado. If it is ripe and you're not ready to use it yet, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just stick it in the refrigerator till you're ready to use it and it'll help slow it down from getting brown. This is what your avocado should look like. It's beautiful and bright in color. You're going to take the little prongs here and you're just gonna basically hit it on the pit a little bit hard and it's gonna grab the pit right out for you and then you can just flick it in the trash. I'm just gonna flick ours right here. And then you're gonna use the dull side of your knife. Now, if you're making avocado toast, you're gonna stripe it and put it in layers on a sandwich or on your toast. Otherwise, you're just going to hull it uh, with the dull side of the knife so that it won't cut through and it won't hurt you. Now we are going to use the citrus press to put our lime juice in here. And if you don't own the citrus press, it can get about a quarter of a cup of lime juice, lemon lime or clementine, I always say. And depending upon how you like your guac, whether you like to put uh, tomatoes in it and garlic is what we put in it, lime juice, a little bit of salt, um, you know, people do their guac differently. You'll have to tell me what you guys put in your guac. And are you guys having uh, fajitas and margaritas on, um, on Cinco de Mayo? Are, are you interested in um, learning some new recipes or finding some great new tools that you can use for that? You'll have to let us know because I got some new tools that are coming out that I can't wait to share with you guys. Now, if you would like a recipe for guacamole, or if you would like to know what the new fancy tools are, which is currently a secret, um, message me and I'll, I'll be sure to give it to you. So I always cut the corner ends of my garlic off. And I only do that because, and you don't have to peel your garlic, but it comes off really easily if you cut the ends off. Um, I do it because I have really bad arthritis in my thumbs. And so it makes it harder and harder for me to, um, to, to um, crush it. So I didn't get all the skin off. You don't actually need to take the skin off. I just find it easier to push. So this is the garlic press. You're going to aim and shoot. And then the garlic press comes with a replacement part. If you've lost your Barbie hairbrush, let me know. We can add that to your next order. And um, we're just gonna go ahead and flick it in there. And then the Barbie hairbrush has a hook on the end and that takes the skin out. So you never have to touch it. And of course, the prongs are what you put in here for cleaning before you throw it in the dishwasher. Now, if you want it to look beautiful and to stay this beautiful silvery color um, and not get all beat up in your dishwasher, you're gonna wanna hand wash it. So we're just gonna move that all aside for the moment. And we're gonna talk about our um, tomato knife. So Pamper Chef has a, a line of professional knives. This is the tomato knife, which is serrated, and it has a lifetime warranty when you purchase our knives. And um, a tomato knife, just literally, like you can just, let me make a nice paper thin um, slice of tomato. You can just make the thinnest slices of tomato uh, with a tomato knife. We're gonna chunk this actually because we're doing a salsa, but um, you can cut it really thin. It's a really great tool for, um, bread as well if you're cutting up some different bread. Keep in mind serrated blades cannot be sharpened by um, a regular sharpening tool. Uh, Paper Chef does offer a honing tool for all of our other knives but the serrated knife is not one of them. So let me just cut that up for you so you can see and then I'm going to show you in the next two tools. So you've seen the garlic press, you've seen the avocado uh, knife which literally kids can use. I've seen kids using it. And now we're gonna grab the citrus press, which I forgot. There we go. And we are going to always use a bridge with our hand and put your knife through the center of your bridge when you are cutting something round that might slip. So always do that for safety. 
we don't want anybody getting hurt. And keep in mind that your lemon, lime, or clementine, when you put it into our citrus press, goes this way, where the bump goes up, okay? And watch how much juice we get out of this. You're gonna see tons of juice that are gonna come out. Now, the juice is going to keep it from turning brown. You've probably heard that you should add your pits into your guacamole, that that will help it turn brown. And if you're not serving your guacamole right away, you can either put some uh, saran wrap directly on it and push it till it touches it, or add a little layer of water. I've heard that water will also help keep it um, so that the air doesn't get to it, which is what oxidizes the, um, the um, avocados. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and I'm gonna chop the rest of my tomatoes up, but then we're gonna use this tool. This is called a mix and mash. And can you see how these are a little bit pointed? I couldn't tell in the catalog, so I didn't really understand how this makes mashed potatoes, but when you push it to the back of a bowl, it works really well. And it literally will just squish right down and it'll mash potatoes, it'll make egg salad, it'll make your guacamole, all of that. So I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna have a little break, sit down, if you guys would like a recipe for Cinco de Mayo or for any other Mexican dishes, if you'd like some gluten-free or you'd just like to see the new catalog, just message me and I'd be happy to get you that. You can text me at 805, no, that's not right, 850-244-8710. That's my business number, 850-244-8710. I'll text you back some recipes. Thanks for watching The Reluctant Chef.